Welcome back everyone to Lammas Creations DIY. My name is Tammy. Today I'm joining in on the What Would You Make Challenge, hosted by Zena over at OK at Home. More on that later on in the video. Let's start crafting. So I found this piece of scrap wood in my little bin. Measures almost 16 inches long, just under. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand it all around, get all of the extra little pieces that are hanging on off in that sticker. And then I'm going to paint it with my baking soda and paint mixture in that nice cream color. Mushroom color more, I guess. Painting both sides and all the edges. While that's drying, I didn't have any dowels, so I had these uh, a broken spoon and a part of another broken spoon, and I thought I could use these. So just sawing off with my handsaw, the broken part there that's sticking out, and then I saw the stick off of the spoon part of this wooden spoon. When using a handsaw, just slowly go back and forth. Don't push down, just back and forth in long motion. Now measuring it out because I need two pieces from this, I find the center and then again I saw it in half. Sanding off the little ends and then I paint them with this burnt umber brown. If you're a returning subscriber, I'd like to say hello and welcome back. Love having you here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Hope you stick around. Please hit that subscribe button, like this video, and don't forget that notification bell. Now using my ruler, I'm just marking off every half inch. So I started at the half inch, put a mark, one inch, put a mark, one and a half, put a mark. And then using my ruler again, I'm going to draw those little marks in a little more. The half inch ones are shorter and the one inch ones are a little bit longer. I do this all the way down the board. Now taking a smaller fine marker, I'm going to mark in my numbers. Starting at half inch, one inch, one and a half, two, two and a half, all the way down to 15 and a half. Finding my center point, I'm going to take my marker and mark two dots in the middle there. And then I mark a third dot down at the end. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm going to pre-drill some holes. I found a drill bit the same size of the ends of my spoon. Sorry if you hear a four-wheeler. My son is out four-wheeling around and he's getting close. So I'll talk a little louder. And I just drill in part of the way. I don't go all the way through. I just, just enough so I can fit in the parts of that spoon. And then taking my sander, I sand off any little pieces that are sticking up. Now making sure my sticks fit into these little holes. And they fit pretty good. I'm going to take my wood glue, put some into the holes. I put quite a bit in there, but I had to make sure these stuck. And then taking my hot glue, I put a little bit on the stick and I push those pegs into those holes. wiping off any extra glue. Taking my marker, I'm going to write in Lamis Creations DIY on one side and Bow Maker on the other side. I've been wanting to make one of these for a while, so I thought let's give it a try. And here I am showing you how it's used. Just taking any kind of ribbon. I just found this on the side, so I grabbed it, putting it in to make a tail. And then you 
make a loop. This is my first time using it, so I was kind of learning at the same time. You make a loop. Come on, make your loop. You bring it down in between those pegs, twist it. Make another loop. This is in real time showing you, so that just shows you how slow I am at it. Twist it again so that you have the right side of the ribbon coming up and there's your other tail. And then you can fluff up your loops there, your little bow parts. Make them look as thick as you want. And you have your little bow. Now I'm going to show you. You can also make a double bow or a triple bow or however many loops you want. Just twisting it again. Making a loop. You can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. Putting it down in between those pegs. Twist it. And make another loop. I was having issues with it being on that other peg. So yeah, I got took it off that peg. <laughs> I think it's because this one was wired. So maybe it was just, I don't know. I'll figure it out. As I do it more, I'll get better at it. And there you have a double loop. You just fix your little loops there and nice pretty bow. This is a game changer for me. Now I can make some nice pretty bows. I'm so happy. I can't wait to use it. Yay! I can make pretty bows. Today's video is in participation of the What Would You Make Challenge hosted by OK At Home DIY. Zena over there does some wonderful transformations and crafts and farmhouse transformations. You need to go check her out. Her link will be in the description box down below along with the playlist. So please go see that down there. Our other host is Marsha from Marsha's Mush and Stuff and Evie from Sweet Little Home. Their links will be in my description box as well. I hope everyone enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you could, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and don't forget to hit that bell. You can follow me on Pinterest, Instagram, and on Facebook under Lamas Creations DIY. Thanks for watching everybody and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!